So back looking at the uh, software on the Xperia Arc, and I'm just going to boot up the uh, phone here. And while I was doing that, we'll just talk a little bit more about the screen. I found that the uh, screen on the X10 was a little bit um, scratch friendly. So the uh, Xperia Arc has a scratch resistant mineral glass display, but uh, they don't say it's actually Gorilla Glass. Um, it may or may not be. Um, not every phone that has Gorilla Glass actually says that it has Gorilla Glass. And they call this the, um, the reality display. I guess to compete with um, what uh, Apple calls their retina display and um, that's to do with the fact that um, Sony has uh, Sony Ericsson has added the um, the Bravia video engine uh, into this which uh, improves like contrast level and noise levels when playing videos and looking at pictures um, interestingly um, the Bravia engine is only available when um, watching videos and looking at pictures rather than being available in the uh, the sort of um, phone's main interface. Um, unlike, uh, let's say, a phone that uses an AMOLED screen or Super AMOLED, which has that in sort of increased uh, black levels and, and better colors all the time. But, um, you know, looking at the screen here, still, you know, bright and vibrant, nice looking screen, um, has that sort of like, uh, Sony uh, Ericsson uh, look that they've established, which is the, the blue and the midnight blue with the grays and whites. As you can see here, there's um, five uh, home panels, uh, five panels on the home screens and some widgets for like controlling things like uh, brightness, um, volume, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, there's some sort of fixed icons down the bottom. You got the, um, the dialer, and contacts, messaging, media. So there's, um, so like interestingly, there is some, you know, adjustments to gingerbread here when you hit media and then a pop-up comes up and you can select, you know, music. The um, art comes with uh, FM radio, which is a nice uh, addition. Go back here, messaging. As you can see, there's a, slightly uh, different look to the uh, messaging client so I mean Sony has really sort of like done a little bit of skinning to gingerbread but they haven't sort of really revolutionized or changed the way it looks to make it unusable and actually really the theme that they've sort of decided on is carried through every part of the interface and uh, there's text messaging contacts and um, I just have some uh, sample contacts here, so as you can see, not that much different than uh, what you find with uh, stock gingerbread. But a little bit different here. And you know, not that dissimilar to what you found with the uh, Android 2.1 update for the X10. Uh, gone uh, is sort of the, the Timescape uh, UI, and it's been replaced by um, a Timescape widget. Uh, which is optional. Let's see, you can, you know, pull up that uh, widgets and uh, Timescape widget can have, um, you know, calls, Facebook messages, Twitter. So you can actually um, sort of narrow down the source of the widget to show um, only one thing. So, for example, um, now I just have it set to show uh, tweets. Um, I don't actually have it um, configured right now, but it uh, allows you to. Um, Check, uh, see your latest tweets. As you can see, there's a few uh, Rogers pre-installed applications. There's uh, Rogers uh, My Account to check um, your account balance on demand for watching uh, um, on-demand video from Rogers and uh, the Rogers Shop. Obviously, the Rogers phones all come, all Android Rogers phones come with that pre-installed. A couple of other nice widgets here. We have a music widget, and then you can uh, go into the um, So it's a little bit different than what you find in stock uh, Android. Nice and uh, useful. There's an equalizer here. So let's go. Um, change some of the uh, And 
can see the uh, speakers are pretty loud, which is pretty good. That's an interesting little thing here. It says find online content about the playing artist. So you artist is playing, you click the little button down there, and it actually uh, finds uh, searches based on the uh, band name and actually lets you look at um, the uh, music video of the same song that was playing, which is a nice little uh, feature to the uh, Sony's uh, sort of um, improvements of the stock music player. So let me just. Uh, Let's put that on high quality mode. It obviously defaults to um, low quality mode when it's running off the uh, mobile network to save uh, on data. Which takes a little bit longer for it to load up. Come on, there we go, there we go. Definitely from you know looking at the video, it does look really nice on this screen. So let's look at some the music widget. There's actually uh, a Rogers um, Euro Music widget as well, Time widget. Um, let's look at a couple other widgets that uh, come with the phone here. So we have different clocks, the digital clocks from um, Sony. Obviously, your standard, um, you know, Android widget, um, and also, you know picture frame, track ID, so there's a you know a bunch of different uh, widgets pre-installed. The last widget I'll show you on the desktop before I move into some of the other menus is a nice little video widget here. In actual fact it brings up directly to a video saw on the phone. As you can see here it's playing a little uh, arc commercial. And again, the black levels and everything look really nice on this screen. Certainly, um, it's one of the better looking uh, screens I've seen on a mobile device. Uh, even though it's LCD, it still looks really nice. You know, Sony's experience with uh, display technology and TVs and everything else really has paid dividends of the device. And certainly, much nicer looking screen than uh, the previous uh, Sony phone efforts. So, just a quick look at the uh, menu. It's a um, left and right scrolling menu um, for the programs. Um, a nice little additional feature is that you can actually um, uh, arrange the apps. You can sort alphabetically, most used. So, to rearrange the uh, icons in the, um, the application drawer, there's a little uh, icon you hit here, and as you can see, you can um, drag icons around and rearrange them. They sort of wobble around. It's very similar to uh, what um, Apple does with iOS, which is interesting because uh, Samsung just got sued for copying. Um, oh, maybe I shouldn't uh, say anything about that. They're very similar to iOS, but maybe a little bit different too. So, uh, obviously, there's a mixture of you know the Sony-looking icons and the um, standard Google icons. Just to quickly give you an idea of what uh, other applications come pre-installed on the phone, there's the Rogers ones I mentioned before, and um, there's uh, Let's Golf, which is a little golf game, um, an office suite application that allows you to um, open um, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Obviously, the uh, Pro version is not included. If you want um, to actually create documents, you need to upgrade to the Pro version. But you can at least uh, view um, any Office uh, applications, Office documents that you uh, might uh, have you know, sent to you via attachment or download through Dropbox or something like that. So, And 
last but not least, uh, I'll just show you one little other thing that I found very interesting, which actually I thought was a pretty cool addition to the uh, the ARC. Uh, let's bring up the uh, market. In actual fact, there's been a few um, sort of criticism on the internet about this, and I, I don't understand why. I think it's actually really nice. So, you know, looking at your standard um, Android market, the, you know, apps, games, and instead of having my apps over here, you actually have a little thing that says Sony Ericsson. And what does that do? Well, when you hit Sony Ericsson, it brings up a list of applications that are optimized or designed for the Sony Ericsson phones. And people are like, well, it's fragmenting the market, you know, it's like adding their own layer to, you know, the Android market that's supposed to be open. No, if I own a phone, I would love to be able to, like, get a shortcut to applications that are optimized specifically for my device. So I have absolutely no problem with this. As you can see here, there's some uh, Timescape. Editions. There's a Foursquare edition for time. Uh, sorry, little add-on widgets to Timescape. So there's a Foursquare one. There's a LinkedIn one. There's um, there's that little uh, Sony uh, Live uh, sort of uh, watch that, that connects to your phone. Um, then there's a called the Live View, and there's a Live View application that synchronizes between your phone and the little watch device. You can download that. There's um, a bunch of games here that um, they say you know are optimized to run best on the Xperia Play and Arc. So having this little shortcut really allows to you know directs you to to the applications that are going to run best on your phone. And I would love to see that for other phones as well. Like if I have a you know a bigger size screen, you know I want to find the applications that look best on the big screen. So I absolutely have no problem with this little Sony Ericsson shortcut here because. I can still look through the market like I can on any other device. It's just this way is a, this is a more curated um, view of the market. You know, whereas when you're looking at the regular market, there's just thousands and thousands of apps, and sometimes finding something that works best for your phone is it's kind of a pain in the ass. So anyway, that's a little uh, quick overview of the um, Sony Ericsson Arc, the uh, premium uh, smartphone. Um, available from Sony Ericsson and in the uh, the brother of the the PlayStation certified play and it's um, gonna be available from Rogers a uh, hundred dollars on a three-year contract and certainly if you're looking for you know a top-notch um, Android device in Canada right now I certainly would say this is one of the phones I would look at beautiful screen uh, you know my reservations about the the plastic uh, build you know, you can always um, get a nice case, and you know, suddenly I wouldn't be walking around with this phone without a case on it. So, you know, having a, a good you know case around it would, you know, alleviate the fact that it's mostly plastic. So, you're watching RGB filter, and you're looking at the uh, Sony Xperia Arc Android uh, gingerbread Android phone. Okay, cut, 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 cut this little bit here, Doug. Don't put this in when I'm trying to figure out how you do this thing again. I did it before and now I don't seem to be able to, uh, uh, there we go.